I need to confess something. I have been so scared of connecting my solar panel. These little radios have been so helpful. Two things happen. I'm still testing out the Starlink and figuring it out. Getting to use to my battery system. It just would not stay connected. Thanks little generator, you're amazing. a long day driving so look who came to join me oh. kitty has cookie crumbs on her head but it's pretty sweet yeah oh, hi do I taste good <laughs> oh Sometimes it's back. nice to be back in familiar spaces. You like it here, hey? If I had food, you'd be here all the time. Are you turning into a van, cat? Look, I've turned the engine on. You live here. I just visit here. You have to go now. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you have to get out of bed now. <laughs> I am so excited. The van is all packed. The water is filled up. The solar panel is loaded. I am going three four, five, maybe six hours north on Vancouver Island, and I am so excited about it. Some diving, which is currently weather dependent. Fingers crossed that happens. And some camping. Uh, my partner is coming with me, We're going to a place that I've never been before, which is super exciting. And stand there for a bit. I'll be working because I'm taking my Starlink, so it's a real good test for me with the Starlink. And then, after all that's said and done, then I start heading towards Vancouver because we're going to install the DC to DC charger in the van. And I am so, so excited and so grateful to have y'all wonderful folks in my life and the support. Like, sometimes I'm just overwhelmed because it's just, I can't believe it. I am on the road and yeah, it's exciting. Probably two and a half hours into a three and a half hour drive. Not the longest I've ever done, but the furthest north, I think. Which is exciting. Um, but I was planning on going for a dive, and I don't know if that's going to happen now because the weather forecast Wednesday is like above 30 knot wind so yeah I will show you a bit more of where we're camped when we get there I'm so excited um, yeah this is cool to go somewhere new than this time we're actually going to a campground 
all the windows, the air vents, everything closed because this is a super dusty road and I just don't want all of that dust in my bed. But wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm so excited. This is such a beautiful stretch of road. Wow. Woo. Wow. So beautiful. So beautiful. Oh my gosh, I need a shower. These little radios have been so helpful to not get lost out here. I love them. You saw me and Amanda use them when we went to convoy together too, or caravan. It was so good. Woo-wee. Oh, you know I'm gonna be in that river at some point real soon. everybody I didn't see you there uh, I'm so excited to be here um, we are at a horse camp which is super fun which is a great place to be super cute it's beautiful up here we're experiencing a heat wave right now and so it's a lot cooler here we're in the forest but speaking of being in the forest it's causing me a few issues um, I am doing some remote work right now um, and two things happen. I'm still testing out the Starlink and figuring it out and uh, getting to use to my battery system, how much power, how much power it lasts. And so last night, plugged in the Starlink, getting everything sorted, it's all dark, so there was absolutely no point doing any footage because we were literally doing this in the dark. and. It just would not stay connected. Now, I've showed you some pictures of the Starlink on the roof of the van, and I've showed you some pictures of where I'm parked, so you shouldn't be surprised that it's not working. Um, it connects and it disconnects, it connects, it disconnects. Um, it just, the um, amount of obstruction that the Starlink experiences from the trees and cannot connect to the satellite is quite impressive. Um, so I think I'm going to have to move this evening to a different camp spot um, that's hopefully more open. It's this horrible juxtaposition. You want to be in the shade and amongst the trees to stay cool, but you need to be out in the sun for solar and for internet now. So, frustrating. So instead I'm doing a lot of um, editing and replying to messages when I can. Um, but you know, we make do with what we can do. That's the best that we've got. And you know what? It doesn't matter. My partner is out on a horse ride and we'll be back and I am starting to get lunch ready. So I'm gonna, I've pre-boiled some potatoes and I've cut up some spring onion, no, leek. And I'm gonna make a salad and fried potatoes after I drain these. It's gonna be nice. But the funny thing that happened was my batteries got drained to zero. I've never killed them before, so they went completely down to nothing. I've run the generator this morning to charge them back up again. They're now back up at floating, past bulk charging and absorb mode, back to float. So <laughs> that is a relief. And I have enough gas if I need to charge them again um, for tomorrow and the next day. But yeah life's an adventure i was like oh no the battery like when i went to turn the inverter on to check the percentage i woke up at 5 a.m and the battery percentage was at 13.0 which for lithium batteries is stupidly low um so yeah killed them but immediately like the chat they would have been dead for maybe an hour and then back to fully fully charged so it should be okay I'm not too worried but it is a beautiful day out and I'm gonna finish making lunch I 
think the battery, the gas is running out in the generator, so I'm going to quickly unplug it. Unplug. And then we go turn it off. <laughs> Poor generator hiding over here. check did it run out of fuel oh yeah yeah it did it is pretty impressive though that's been running from 8 o'clock in the morning till 11 and now the batteries are fully, fully charged. So what, eight, three hours, three and a bit, three and a half hours on one tank of gas. It's pretty good. Anyway, time to finish making lunch. I need to confess something. I have been so scared of connecting my solar panel because on the back of the panel, you can't tell there's no signs that say, this side's positive, this side's negative. And then coming out of the van, I couldn't tell which side was negative and which side was positive of the cords. And I figured both of these things out and I'm literally about to go and turn the panel over. I've got my Victron smart charge controller. Um, look. <sighs> Status, why isn't it show me? Anyway, it says one watt. So I'm gonna turn it over and put it in front of the sun and we'll go see what happens. bringing in 125 watts, 130 watts. Wow! And of course it's blocked by trees right now, so it's not gonna be amazing, but <sighs> it freaking made it work and I did it right. This is incredible. I was getting all tripped up on which wire was which and then realized that actually you can see some red wire coming out of the van, just, maybe. And then I use my multimeter to figure out on the back here which of these two was positive and negative, because they're not actually marked. And now I've put a little red tape, so I know. <sighs> Man, this is amazing. Yes. And this is only in like half shade and only one panel. I can't wait to see when it's full shade direct the correct angle and two. This is so exciting. to connect my solar panel to the van and now I have actual power without having to run the generator. Maybe I'll figure out the lines and switch them because that's not going to work long term. But oh my gosh, am I so happy. Wow! Hopefully soon I'll say goodbye to this situation for a long time and we'll rely on this tiny solar panel, this be replaced by this. Yay! Look at that. Mm. 
now I could afford to run the the Starlink when I'm pulling in the Starlink pulls about 40 to 50 watts I'm currently now pulling in over a hundred and it's occasionally jumping right up to 200 depending on the shade of the trees you can see as it changes and this is that 90% charged oh I'm so relieved I figured it out <sighs> I'm so so relieved like I was worried that I had to rely on the generator only and now like this is doing its job I've had these panels for ages and have been scared and nervous and not sure how to figure it out and I, I'm, not, I'm not super skilled at using a multimeter and at the moment I can't text anyone, there is no internet, I've turned the Starlink off, we're completely out of service, so I was like, I'm just gonna guess, so what I did is I put the negative and positive in the, st like, exposed the panel to sun, put the negative and positive in each port, and saw the reading. Then I went onto a negative and positive of my 12 volt bus bar and saw the reading. And there was one tiny bar that lit up one way and didn't light up the other. And I could see then which way was the right way round on the one that was working, because I know that's correct, and then matched it on the solar panel. <sighs> Next time I plug it in, because I have to unplug this because I'm going to be moving to hopefully get better signal for the Starlink. I think I did it! I'm so happy! Oh, I'm sweaty! that way down to the river it's been so good this shades the van when the Sun moves around which is really lovely out here I have my solar panel set up which is gonna get the Sun really soon and down here my Starlink we moved out into a more open space and I've put the Starlink out here because now I'm getting much better signal. It's been a little challenging finding shade and open sky space to get the Starlink working and I just have to have internet to be able to work and so getting that oh, my cute van um, I have to have internet to be able to work, so getting that organized has been a priority. But camp is so beautiful. It's been lovely to be out here. And yeah, it's just learning to fine tune the balance between 
where I camp, where I can get solar and where I can get internet and where I can get shade. And it feels like sometimes those three things are in direct conflict, but here we are and it's beautiful. And it smells like horses around here. <laughs> So I also set a number of mouse traps because the first night at camp we were sitting out on the picnic mat over here and a mouse just literally runs straight across in front of our feet and it must have been like 7 p.m. <laughs> I was like, Ugh! so this is what I've been doing, setting mouse traps underneath the van so that I catch them before. They get in the van. And so now we will take said demised one. I put four. This is the first one I've checked. Let's see if we can just hoof these into the forest where they will become food and join the circle of life and nature for the rest. Let's go see if there are any other Casualties. Casualties of human existence. Unfortunately, yes. And yes. And yes. It just gives you an idea. There's a lot of mice around here. Time to reset these traps. We will slowly reduce the mice population, but we're in their habitat, so it's a tricky conundrum. But I'd still rather they be dead outside of the van than dead inside of the van. Poor, cute little bastards. Five points if you can guess what this has turned into for dinner. Potatoes for later. Nachos! Oh, I'm so happy about this. Yum, they're almost ready. Sun is down. Humans are tired.
<sighs> Have a lovely evening, everyone. Good night. My bit warm camp is all packed up. Maps are loaded before I turn the internet off. Let's get out of here. I've got 182 kilometers for the next two hours. Let's go. Oh, I left my table behind. Hang on. I was like, there's a noise. What have I left behind? It's so funny. Don't want to lose this. I was leaning up against the side of the van. Okay, let's go, take two. Thanks everybody so much for watching. I hope you found this informative as you've come along with me on my journey of being off-grid, of finding my own off-grid power systems and making them work. It's been a journey to make these things work for me and figure out what actually my electrical needs are. If you're on my Patreon, you already know all of this. You all have received some behind the scenes information and photos and my exciting updates. Thanks to all my Patreons for being there and being so supportive and kind. I really appreciate you. And as somebody said recently, you all who leave comments every week, I deeply appreciate you and your very, very kind words. It means the world to me and I read all of them. Thanks so much and I'll see you all next week. Bye. <laughs>